Koala. 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 Hi, it's Merrick from Elf Audio again, and this is a quick video to explain what Samurai Mode is. So Samurai Mode is a $3 in-app purchase for Koala that gives you three main things. One is time stretch, so you can change the length of a bit of sound without changing its pitch and vice versa. Um, it also gives you piano roll, so you can edit notes individually on, on the timeline rather than having to play them in. And thirdly, auto chop, which lets you chop up longer samples into smaller samples um, very quickly so you don't have to sort of manually do it. So I'm going to go through these features now. First of all, to enable Samurai mode, you'll see up here there's a, there's a button called Samurai. And if you press it, it should give you a little ad saying how much it costs and, um, and what it does. Uh, if you press the buy button, I've already done this, so um, it's going to tell me that I've already bought it. Obviously, I, I, I kind of get it for free. Um, so I just press yes, and then it says Samurai Edition enabled. So I press OK, and then now this Samurai button is actually turned into a stretch button. So I've got these three samples here. I've got a, a drum beat. I think it's 108 be beats a minute or something, and I've got a harp sound. And I've got this like series of chords from a piano I recorded ages ago, just random ones. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to quickly show you time stretch. So we've got this drum sample, and it's 108 beats per minute, and our song, we want it to be, I don't know, 89? So... Um, Obviously, if I try and play these at the same time, you know, the tempo. They're not in time. So what you do is you press the stretch button and what it tries to do is work out, okay, it's it's almost two bars of the time that we've got at the moment. So it's going to try and stretch to two bars. So if I play it now, you can hear it's a bit slower. And what's cool is... Um, you can change the pitch without changing the um, speed, so so it gets faster. I mean, it doesn't get faster. Um, and okay, so it's also got a lot of settings. So if you press this button up here, two bars, it gives you a, a few options. First of all, you can change um, how long you think it should be. So if it, you want it to be two bars, it starts speeding it up. Um, obviously you can just slow it really far down to 16 bars so it says your sample is trying to stretch it out to fit 16 bars of your song um, which is pretty extreme uh, you can also set a custom number so now it says one bar I can set it to two bars, three bars, four bars or you can do um, beat divisions instead but we're just going to go for two bars because it is two bars now there's four settings here and they're different algorithms whereas well, re repitch isn't really an algorithm all it does is it it just pitches your sample to the the right pitch so it doesn't have to do any stretching so this should make it sound low pitched now notice when you're on repitch the, the pitch knob is disabled because the pitch is actually just you know set to the right value or whatever but all the other all the other ones let you change that pitch so if I go to modern which is the, the sort of nicest sounding one you can change the pitch. Retro, it's sort of a slightly sort of granular effect. Um, it does let you change the pitch. Um, then you've got beats, which is it's sort of doing it a weird thing with like looping the sound backwards and forwards uh, to make it stretch. We'll leave it on modern for now. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the time stretch. Um, and then what are we going to show next? The auto chop feature. So like I said, I have this, this set of piano notes here and I want to like chop it to pads. Now, the easiest thing you can do is go auto chop and then this window shows you where it thinks you want your chops and you can touch the chops to find out you know if they sound like they're in the right places if you don't like where they are you can drag these little handles and, and change them or if you want to get rid of it you can either drag the, the little handle down or you can tap it and it disappears 
tap it again and another one appears and you can adjust and like with the uh, other waveforms in koala you can zoom in and like you know really get your edit perfect now there's these three options up here you've got transients equal and lazy transients tries to sort of auto detect your um uh you know the points where you want to cut um uh, it's not always accurate because it's uh you know automatic but uh it's it's pretty good I and mean, it's it's um definitely speeds you up a lot equal basically just tries to chop into equal parts so i've got this sample it's trying to chop it into two chops so just you know 50 percent on one 50 percent on another and then you know etc 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 it's not super useful but for some things it is um and then lazy chop is basically if you want to type in your trigger points as in like you want to hit something every time you want a marker to go in this is what this does so you've got these two buttons a play button and a mark button so when i press play it starts playing from the beginning and then every time i hit the mark button it sticks in a new mark um a, a new sort of chop point or whatever um it's it's useful for like music with a groove where you can sort of get into the feeling of it and sort of hit things uh, but for this example we're gonna stick with the transients so um uh yeah that looks oh maybe I get a few more okay that looks about right um now you can hit um one shot to turn them make sure they all automatically become one shot and you can also set what choke group you want them to be on if you want them to be on a choke group and cut each off uh, cut each other off as they play so i'm gonna hit choke group one um so there we are we've got all these chops um and i think i like these three so i'm going to delete the rest of them and i don't know if anyone really knows this but if you want to delete a lot of pads quickly you can just drag them with with uh, multiple fingers at the same time um so i can see that this one has a little bit of a tail oh no no it's fine it's fine it's fine um let me check this one yeah that one caught the uh, beginning of the next one a little bit so those are our three samples so this one i want to like make it lower down and then this one i want to put it up five semitones so i'm just going to go into the settings and enable uh, pitch knob snap to semitone so i'm going to just rock this up to five and then we got so that sounds pretty nice and then yeah we're gonna um make a sequence to show the piano roll stuff so if you want to you've got this this whole loop where is it this one so you could either hold this down uh you know whilst playing the loop or you could draw it in so um, the way the piano roll works is that you just double tap and up comes the piano roll and you've got um these are all the pads you can see a1 to 16 and if you scroll down you get b c d so you've got all the pads there um so this is our drum beat so i'm just going to pop in a note there and now there's a note if you want to extend it you hold the end of it and drag it out like that um so now if i press play you've got the the beat that we just made um and it's perfectly looped um and yeah like so so if you make a note it tries to make a note as long as the last note you made so if i shorten this note and then try and make another note it's going to always be that length i make it shorter then the next ones are going to be shorter so that's how that works and if you want to delete a note you just tap it and it disappears um or if you want to select a bunch of notes you just drag your finger like that um and delete um if you try to drag your finger really quickly it will scroll but if you hold just for a second when the lasso comes up then it it turns into something you can grab notes with um and it, it's really useful because you've got um you know obviously you can you can do things like copying so if i press copy and then i just hold my finger somewhere else it'll let me paste um and if if these um if these notes weren't on the grid i could press snap and it would snap to whatever the snap setting is down here 
and I'll just show you that now so you know you can set it to free and then you can like you know move it slightly off the grid or whatever like that press snap and it will snap back um, if also you, you might have noticed that the ends of the notes snap uh, and you can turn that off by just turning off this thing called snap end so now now it's nice and uh, smooth and you can make it as long as you want or whatever um, I like to keep it on uh, and the other things that are cool is you have these features if you press this little right arrow you get legato reverse 200 percent 50 percent so and repeat uh, so I'll just show you like 50 percent will basically make whatever you've got selected half as long so that that's kind of useful uh, 200 percent will like make it twice as long um, obviously so if we bring this back here and press 200 percent you know you've got a whole bar of uh, two bars of music um, then reverse just reverses the order of all the notes um, and legato what that tries to do is make all the um, uh, all the notes so there's no gaps between them um, which can be used for you know for melodic things and stuff like that and and repeat will just try and copy whatever you've got um, forwards in time so if I press that you can see it's just copied the whole thing so yeah that's that I'll delete that obviously this undo and redo so we can sort of replay all of it or whatever um, uh, so I was going to put some music I was going to play this nice harp sound over the top of what we made and the pianos you want to have that um, on a one shot um, and then if we look in the sequence we've got these you know these notes uh, now if you want to edit um, you know how you have the piano roll so if you want to play that on a piano you can um, do that sort of thing um, but in the piano roll the way you do that is as long as you've got the note highlighted here but you can just press it here or, or just edit a note on there uh, you press the the keyboard button and then that comes up with you know standard keyboard piano roll so we can mess with the notes in the sequence so we can put that one up there um, maybe bring this down stuff so if I wanted to record a few notes of that um, I just um, you can just whack it in like that it's sort of uh, helpful um, another thing that's quite cool is that if you want to uh, scrub around in your um, uh, sequence you can just tap up here um, that's useful and obviously you can you can zoom in make the notes really big if you've got big fingers like me and uh, struggle to get the you know the accuracy that you want and up here you can sort of scroll through that um, yeah so that is the piano roll um, so that's basically it um, thank you very much for watching uh, and please ask questions uh, I'm available on uh, the best place to get in touch with me is elfaudio.com slash contact.php I'll put a link thanks a lot bye bye